Joining us, we start with breaking news. We've learned more about a man arrested after a standoff with upstate deputies. A lot of you have been talking about this online. Investigators say he was wanted for crimes that went on for more than a week across Bartmer County. 7 News' is Elise Devlin is at the Sheriff's Office live with the story today. Elise. Good afternoon. Yeah, that standoff yesterday took over six hours before deputies were able to take Justin Morgan Phillips into custody. Now, prior to that standoff, Phillips was charged with 20 different charges in Spartanburg County and 45 charges in Greenville County. Deputies say it all started on November 18th at Academy Sports, where we're told male suspects shoplifted $1,400 worth of merchandise. And when confronted by two store employees, deputies say one of the suspects showed them a gun on his waistband. The same day, deputies say a landscaper had his truck stolen, a 2000 17 white Chevrolet Silverado with a camper cover on it. Later on at 1:40 in the morning, deputies tell us a clerk at a hot spot reported a suspicious person, which kickstarted a chase that ended on Highway 29 in the west side of Spartanburg, where Phillips was able to get away. On November 27th, deputies say they attempted a traffic stop to pull over Phillips, which started another chase that ended in Phillips crashing and getting away once again after being picked up by his girlfriend this time. Yesterday, we're told a SWAT team was sent to a house in Spartanburg County. We're told they made contact with Phillips inside the house, and after a lengthy negotiation, he was taken into custody. During this time, Sheriff Wright tells us he executed a reverse 911 for the surrounding area and schools. He says it's frustrating. This all had to happen in the first place. Why is our system continuously putting our deputies in jeopardy? You know, I don't, I don't think everybody that gets arrested should go to jail forever. That's not what I'm even trying to say. But we got a gentleman here that just simply will not do it the right way. How, what's it going to take? Because it was a real possibility for him to hurt some deputies and some citizens doing this chasing and all this other stuff and his desire to get away. What is it going to take for our system to realize that some people just need to stay in jail for a little while? Now, deputies say they are still searching for the two suspects that were involved in the Academy Sports shoplifting incident alongside Phillips. They say they'll have more information for the public on their Facebook later today. Live in Spartanburg, Elise Devlin, 7 News.